In this video, let's see how we can set form control values without any user interaction. That is, setting values programmatically. For example, we might have to retrieve form data from a backend API or service and update the form controls to their new values. We can do that using the set value method provided by reactive forms. Let's take a look at an example. Right now, you can see that we have set a default value to the username field by specifying the value in the form control constructor. Instead, let's set values to the different form controls programmatically. In the HTML, I'm going to create a new button that says load API data. So a button load API data class is equal to button, button secondary and a bit of left margin ml-2 and type is equal to button. On click of this button, I'm going to invoke the load API method. Let's define this method in the class. Load API data and this method is going to set the different form control values. For setting values programmatically, we have the set value method. And the set value method can be called either on the form control class or on the form group class. For our purpose, we need to call the method on the registration form group. So this dot registration form dot set value. The set value method accepts an object that matches the structure of the form group with the control names as keys. So we have username Bruce, password and confirm password as test, address with city as city, state as state, and postal code 123456. So the exact structure as the registration form group. Now if we save this and go back to the browser, when I click on load API data, you can see that the form controls are populated with the dummy data. We have Bruce, password test, city as city, state as state, and postal code 123456. Now let's say we want to populate the username and password fields, but not the address fields. So in the code, I'm going to remove the address key from the set value method. Now, if we head back to the browser and click on load API data, we see it doesn't work. If I open the console, you can see the error. Must supply a value for form control with name address. So set value is very strict about maintaining the structure of the form group. You have to pass all the form control values. But if you do have to set values for only few of the fields, you can make use of the patch value method. So let me go back to VS code and change set value to patch value. The parameter can now be an object that contains as few of form controls as necessary. So now we have completely removed the address object and if I go back to the browser, click on load API data, you can see that we are able to set values only to the username and password fields. So set value and patch value are really useful when you have to fill form values from an API or a service. Set value is used when you have to set values to all the form controls and patch value can be used when you have to set values to few of the form controls. All right, that is about managing form control values from the component class in reactive forms. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.